first, there was Indian classical music, then Bollywood, then Bhangra, and then along came the sounds of the Asian underground. All that, as the media would have you believe, just went away, or did it? I'm here in Hackney to meet the unique Shiva sound system. Not unique purely because they put on clubs and make their own music, but because all their major players live under one roof. Officially started in February 2003, Shiva Sound System and their distinctive blend of Asian fusion grew from warehouse parties to hosting hundreds of club nights around the capital. They are also producing albums and developing artists. But for the guys at Shiva, it all starts right here at their base in the East End of London. This rustic warehouse base is home to 10 people, five of whom form the Shiva Sound System. On occasion, this place has been home to 800 people partying away right here in this kitchen. The collective is made up of seven music producers, five of whom are DJs, plus musicians and a whole host of creative types who get together to make music and party. But I'm off to meet the artistic axle about which all this creativity turns. It started as an Asian thing and now it's evolved into something that's a lot more universal. Why did you start Shiva Sound System? I think it started when I first started DJing and putting weird things into the sets like percussion, like guitars, like MCs. And the MC DJ thing has been going on forever and so is the percussion DJ thing that's not kid ass I was here. But the approach to it was, was I thought, something quite unique within an Asian club. So who makes up the crowd at Shiva Sound System gig? We've had, you know, every colour, every country. We've got hits from Vietnam and stuff. We've got people from Iraq signing up to our mailing list and stuff, which is really interesting. We're about this alternative representation of what Asians are in Britain. And the fact that this is how Britain should be, it shouldn't really be about polarizing society, it should be about bringing everyone together. The fact that most of these guys live under the same roof gives them hours, days and nights to talk about and make their music. What brings you to this place? Pure vibe. I mean, like-minded people getting together and just sort of sharing the same views, man. All love the same thing, love music. Love so what is it that you guys do together? Oh, sort of producers, engineers, and yeah. we've been around the ropes, you know what I mean? Getting our hands busy, creating vibes. What is that vibe? We would just like having a good time. <laughs> Joke. We, yeah, we would just love well, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the producers spend hours in the studio, then bring the music back to the warehouse for all to hear. And it's this collaboration that is at the heart of Shiver's work. It's a rave scene. And they're listening to all these breaks that are chorused out, flanged out, you know, chopped up, recycled, dropping octaves. They're getting, you know, people are really experimenting with all these Indian kind of beats and stuff. But it's not just about vinyl. Sharing the stage with the DJs are a fusion of instruments. You can't surely just three of you turn up not knowing each other and... Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't quite see how it fits in with the whole Shiva kind of madness and mayhem and chaos. We are trying to bring uh, live elements uh, and also computer programming live. So we go out with uh, laptops, uh, guitars and then lots of musicians depending from the nights. And there's a real passion and um, a fury in, in the music. Mukesh, how would you describe the sound that you make? So I've come from quite a rocky, sort of hardcore metal sound. Um, these guys are probably more traditional and acoustical. So I guess when it all comes together, we've got quite a unique, almost well, bizarre, kind of eerie sound. Now, what's the symbolism behind Shiva sound system? You've got the god of dance at Shiva. You've got obviously sexual links with the Kama Sutra and how the descriptions in that are tied to Shiva as well. And I thought, we've got this deity that embodies everything that I think is really cool with the world. You know, we've got something that's actually part of my heritage and culture that, that you know, we can say, damn, okay, yeah, let's look at the Kama Sutra. How many hundreds of years ago was that written? The reason why it's called Shiva Sound System is because I find that all the symbolism behind it, all the stories, just really intrigue me and they inspire me. We're not cutthroat business people. We're not, you know, we're not politicians. We're just people that are doing something that we feel is right. Thank <laughs> you.